Alright guys, this is Scott Tig with you again, and this is my latest project. It's a Shapeways uh, shell from Reese Martin, C39-8 X Conrail unit. And sadly enough, uh, I'm modeling the present day, so this won't stay on the layout. I'm planning on doing a, a couple more of these and sell. This one's for sale. I'm going to take it to a train show. It won't last long. I got some buddies at C39-8 crazy, so a lot of these uh, ma major uh, train companies won't do the C39-8, so this will get eat up pretty fast, especially in end scale. Uh, the shell went on pretty good on the C40-8 uh, chassis, and the bottom here is a C39, I mean C40-8. Uh, far as the, the bottom walkways and stuff but the the shell from the cab back is is a shapeway shell and the only thing uh reese i found out that probably needs to fix a little bit is the headlight holes in the front here are a little bit too big uh you may want to make that smaller so you won't have a, a big opening around your your lenses coming through but other than that, the uh, shell went on real good. Okay, let me turn it around here. All right. All right. The other other thing I wish that I, that we could do for this shell is this plate right here that that comes separate right here underneath the the cab window here uh, the battery boxes and all I wish you could make the plate out of uh, etch metal because that's a whole lot of sand and stuff like that to take out to put in the the shape waste little piece that that goes underneath the the cab here and I I filed uh, the uh, walkway pretty thin I didn't want to go all the way through but I got it close as I could so it wouldn't stand out too bad but it, it did all right but I wish we could get that thing in etch metal where it, it would uh, be super thin so you can just scratch off the details off the the walkway there off the of C40-8 and uh, put the etch metal piece on there but it's fine um, what you have to do here let me see uh, had to make the the handrails here, uh, the C40-8 handrails won't, won't uh, fit on this one. You have to custom make the, I guess it would be the uh, conductor side handrails to the back. You see there. But I used uh, Richmond controls. You can see the back here. Use Richmond Controls LED lights in this sucker, and the you should try Richmond Controls. Uh, I think it's warm white LEDs for uh, locomotives. Um, super awesome. I mean the 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 realistic uh, effect that they uh, got as far as the the warmth of the bulb is is pretty amazing. It's not too wide. It's not too orange. It's uh, looks just like a a real locomotive headlight coming at you so it's 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 bright enough where you can see it i really like it so check check richmond controls uh led lights for for the locomotives i picked up uh i think a, a bunch at a train show here a couple weeks ago and really fell in love with them kind of pain in the ass to put in but uh it's worth it and reese martin you did a good job on this shell um like I said, this is an ex-Conrail C39-8. He's got uh, a bunch of other shell. He's got a C39-8, which is an NS unit. I think I'll get that next and try it. Um, his SD40-3 um, CSX uh, cabs go on real, real well. I like them. Do a couple more of them. Uh, as far as that, bud, uh, you did a good job on this one. And like I said, it's a shame that I model present day or this would be on the layout. 
and I would have a whole bunch more of them. But I'm going to sell this one. won't last long, but that's what I'm doing. And when I get a, another project going and finished, I'll let you see it. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.